Okay, another quick and dirty question. We've got three questions here that are dealing heavily with exponent laws, specifically radicals, where we've got exponents that are a fraction. And I'm feeling pretty good today, so I've switched my pen from blue to purple. I just thought we'd spice this up. So in order to do any adding or subtracting, we need pure numbers. We can't have numbers that have exponents on them. So well, let's just deal from left to right, bed mass, really doesn't come into play right now. And we're going to have to take the fourth root of 16 and then put it to the power of three. Alternatively, we could do 16 to the power of three, but that's gonna give us a huge number and then we have to take the fourth root of that. Now, if you have a calculator on you, by all means, you can use the X over Y button or M over N button to calculate these or evaluate these. So if we're gonna take the fourth root of 16, that's two because two to the power of four is 16. So essentially what we've got here is we've got 2 to the power of 3. And so that means we've got 2 to the power of 3 here as well. It's the same same number. And then this 81 to this negative power, that's going to be interesting because it's going to change the dynamics of the question because that actually means we're subtracting 1 over 81 and it's the fourth root of 81. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that right now. The fourth root of 81 is 3. So that's actually going to become a 3. And so now we have 8 plus 8 or 16 take away 1 third. And you know you, you've got all sorts of different ways that you could do that. You go ahead and say that that's 15 and two-thirds and then some people will tell you that okay well you're going to need to put that into an improper fraction so it, depending on how you wanted to answer this uh, you know 15 times 3 is is 45 and then we would add 2 so that's 47 over 3. Not a very pretty final answer but not a difficult one. All right so let's move on to the second question where we've got 128 it's to uh, power of a negative fraction, and we can deal with that. But we also have this 16, and it's to the power of a decimal. Now, don't ever forget that decimals are easily converted to fractions, and 75 cents is 3 quarters, and so this is just the fraction there. So the 16 actually easily will turn into 16 to the 3 quarters, or the fourth root of 16 is 2, and then 2 to the power of 3 is 8. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the 4th root first. So we've got 2 to the power of 3 here. And let's do the 7th root of the 128. And so the 7th root of 128 is also 2. And so I've got 2 to the negative 5 here. And don't get caught into the trap where you think you can just add or subtract your exponents. This is not a multiplication or division question. And so we need to move forward uh, with simplifying our, our, our fractions first. What we have with the negative is a 1 over 2 to the 5, and 2 to the 5 is 32, so let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to be subtracting 8, because 2 to the 3 is 8. And now we can actually do our subtraction. But we need a common denominator. And because this 8 is, in effect, over the whole number 1, our common denominator is 32. So we're going to Whip out our calculator, multiply 8 by 32, and get 256, and realize that what we're doing is we're subtracting 256 from 1. And so we get negative 255 over our common denominator of 32. And you could turn this into uh, a proper fraction, um, or mixed fraction, or whatever you want to call it, but... Uh, this will suffice for, for this example. Okay, so let's move on to the third and last question uh, where we've got a lot of pieces of the puzzle here. But again, they're all separate. They're not multiplication or division questions. There's, uh, they're all terms on their own. So we can deal with them individually. And so we've got a square root of 81, which is just 9. We've got a third root of 8, okay, so that's 8 to the power of 1 third, and you have to ask yourself, what times itself 3 times equals 8? The answer is 2. 
we've got a 32 here to the four fifths and if you recall the fifth root of 32 is 2 again so that's 2 to the power of 4 here and we've got 16 to the 3 quarters which we've seen before and that's 2 to the 3 or, or 8 and so this is 9 plus 2 which we could if we wanted to we could actually do that take away 2 to the 4 is 16 plus 2 to the 3 is 8 so we've got 11, take away 16, plus 8. And it all depends on uh, how you want to, to, to do this up. But 11, take away 16, is negative 5, plus 8 is 3. And that's it. Another quick and dirty three questions. These ones dealing with exponent laws and radicals.